Right guys, another video. This time Astragon have provided me with a code for Construction Simulator on Xbox Series X slash Series S. So here we go, let's get into it. Right guys, here we go, Construction Simulator, Xbox Series X. Let's have a go and see what happens. All I'll do now, I have started the game, I have tried the game. But what I'll do, I'll go through the tutorial to show you the, the controls and everything else. Give you my overall reaction of what I think to the game. There we go. Made with Unity. Ooh. Disclaimer. All sequences and events portrayed in the game are for entertainment purposes only. The game will automatically save with this symbol. Ah. Right. Okay, fair enough. Construction Simulator. Press any button to continue. What I will do, I have started one already. So what I'll do is I'll restart another one on a different profile. Right, so first of all, you have to choose your character. I'm going to go for this guy. Obviously change the name. You have to use your right directional buttons to choose your hat and everything you call it. We'll go red. Go red with that. What do we do with the helmet? You can't have, there's no more helmets yet. I'm guessing you can unlock them. Overall, I like the decal and everything that you can use. All right, so we'll choose name. So I'm going to do Adji 86. Oh, that's done. That's why to accept. So you can play multiplayer, which is good. Enjoy a multiplayer game. Support your friends through their missions. Uh, I'll start one on my own. The company, you can either start in America or Europe. So I'm going to go that one. Let's choose that logo there. And it's going to be Agi Limited. LTD. Yeah, so restart that. Right, because I'm not correct to the multiplayer. You have to complete the opening campaign. So the opening campaign, I'm assuming, is the tutorial. Which I think it is, because it tells you. All right, construction machines need regular filling. Find a gas station to fill up along the way. All right, so you can refuel them by the looks of that. All right, so guys, a rough start. Feeling a little lost in life. You're thinking about your future when destiny comes knocking on your door. It's the middle of the night when your phone rings. It's hape. Long-time friend of the family and the owner of the local construction company. There's a bad storm. He needs your needs your help. Little could you know just how drastically this storm night would alter the course of your fate. That's a bit dramatic, but okay. There it is. All right. So press A to continue. Welcome to the opening campaign. Here you will learn about different types of vehicles, game functions, and basic gameplay. In addition, this tutorial contains the prologue of the story of the main game. You can skip the opening campaign at any time via the job menu if you're already familiar with the construction simulator and want to start playing the main game straight away. So, do I want to open the job menu? I don't know because I want to learn the game. So, you press no, which is B. Right, so that's pretty straightforward. So, just left, right. Right, so I've got to go over there to speak to Hope. I'm guessing over there. The RTs to run. Overall, the game looks pretty decent. Graphically. You can walk as well. and Oh, you can jump as well, look. Whee! Jump. Alright. Speak with Hape. Or right. oh, Hap, however you say it. Finally, there, you are. there he is. I hope you haven't forgotten me. Well, if you want me to jog your memory... It's me, Hoppin. I always knew you'd become a real construction <laughs> someday. Now is your chance to prove it, because I urgently need your help. He needs our help. So let's get right, okay, he needs our there help, man. There was a man. bad storm last night, and it left a ton of damage in its path. <laughs> There's been a landslide at the bridge coming into the village. It also knocked down a utility pole, and many parts of the village lost power. <laughs> we have to get over there and clear the road. We'll need a wheel loader, which I have to pick up. It's best if you get behind the wheel of the flatbed truck and drive ahead. 
Right, okay, so I've got to get in a flatbread and follow the GPS. Right, okay. It is vital to... It does tell you on the top left anyway, as you can see above. Above there. It does say above there, but... It, you, I really... I would listen to the instructions. All right, so open the contest menu and turn the lights on. All right, we'll put them on then. <laughs> Overall, it's easy to use. Not bad for a little port over, I'd say. By the looks of that, you can go in into it. Yeah, you can, yeah. There you go. I like how you've got the thing on the floor as well where you can... Whoa. Steering's a bit erratic. It's a very sensitive. Oh, bit of a glitch of that. Have a bit of a lag there. Oh, wow, a bit of frame rate there. Right, to get back out, FC, press X and then go back to exterior. And then press Y to leave. First and foremost, we need light. Turn on the mobile generator. Right, okay. Oh, I wonder if we've got to get in there, have we? Yeah, enter the wheel loader, yeah. Right, press right on this right stick down to zoom your camera out a bit, which is good. Right, so wheel loaders are super for loading large quantities of bulk materials such as soil, gravel, and sand. Properly align the bucket and wheel loader in suitable cleaning, flattening, and spreading bulk. Right, so first, press bulk material to raise and lower the boom. So, yeah, right stick, yeah. Open the shovel, close curve. You can boom to turn load near as a dump truck. Okay. The flat on the surface, lower the boom with the right. Right, okay. This is pretty straightforward then. Where have I got to unload that now? Uh -huh. The only thing I'd say is the camera's a bit, bit jittery. I've messed that one up. Let me move that. Yes, yeah, so that's how you flatten it, look. As you've just seen what I've just done. That's how you flatten it. So if I put that down, it should flatten it. Yeah, it has. I've got to clear more of that then. Clear 34% I've done. Oh. His vehicle does take damage as well. By the look, look in the corner of the screen, it does take damage. So that's good.
Maybe I should go a little bit slower, really. There is cruise control. I've got to figure out how to put that on. If I do this, it should flatten it. No, because that's already full. Music's quite chilled. Alright, so I'm stuck now. So you've got to be careful of that when you part this up. That's pretty cool. You gotta park up in the air, press Y to get out. Speed I'm gonna speak with this him, him again. Oh. Now the roadway is open again on half sides. Well done. However, our mission does not end here. The refrigeration system at the local supermarket has failed. There is a mobile generator on the loading area of the flatbed truck. We have to get it to the supermarket as quickly as possible so that the refrigeration can be restored and the food doesn't spoil. I'll Ooh. see you there. Okay, see you there. See you there, bruv. Right. Alright, so that's this one except to drive to the supermarket. Right, the context right. Use the context menu to move the flatbed truck function mode. Right, okay. Right, I've done that. Ah, so you can use the arm, right, okay. Right, so you use the arm set up up and up and down on the left stick to use that. And then up on the right stick to move that arm. And then once it's over the top of it, you press A. I'm guessing because that's your interactive one. And you lift it out. That right stick extends your arm. And then A to think it out. There is a reset button with X there, so you can just reset it. It puts it back to normal. You don't have to mess about putting it all the way back in. We've got a turn on the generator. Oh, I'm guessing we've got to... Have we got to remove that by the looks of that? The lantern has torn the roof and must have damaged some lines in the process. It needs new cladding. First, lift the lantern out of the roof and then drive to the local building materials dealer to pick up the required... Well, I like the controls. The cr controls are very, very easily to navigate. My only gripe is the frame rate. Sometimes the frame rate drops. Maybe that's something they've got to sort out. I don't know. I'm guessing I've got to use that crane, yeah. Alright. Oh, wow. How cool is this? Get to actually use the massive crane. Crane speed construction sites to lift light, medium loads. Right, okay. Directing crane, so I'm guessing. Elevate position to perform a concrete work to concrete bucket. Hold wire to fast direct the crane. Stem the crane here and hold wire to select a fast directing crane or a tower crane. Alright, rotate the crane. 
Yeah, so it's pretty similar to what I did with the other. Yeah, so you just got to line it up till it turns green. Press A then, like you did before. And I've got to lift that up now. So hold B and left to, to rotate. Oh, okay. Wow, it's very... Yeah, then press A to drop it again. And obviously you can reset that again. And you can press Y to get out. To get out the back. Let there be stage complete. Right. Into the, fl into the flatbed. What I'll do, guys, the, it is quite long, the tutorial, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll do this part. It gives you a little example. bit of a drift there. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. All right, I'm guessing I've got to load them onto the truck, them two there. But yeah, guys, you get an idea of the game anyway. You have to load your materials on and take them to basically where you need to go. The construction sites for repair work. They are first 10 minutes of the gameplay. A little bit of a tutorial, a little bit of coverage for you. Hope you enjoyed it. And there we go. Construction Simulator on Xbox Series X. Bye, right, guys. My overall thoughts on Construction Simulator. The controls are very easy to use. The only thing that I could see what was wrong with it, sometimes the frame rate would drop, um, which I don't know if it's because of the rendering of the game or what. But it seems fine. And the camera controls need a bit of adjusting. But overall, I'll give the game, say, 7 out of 10. I enjoyed it, and I will be playing it a lot more. So thanks, Astragon. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, folks. If you did enjoy this review, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. It'd help reach my goal i am trying to get to a thousand just to try and make something of this and keep up with my content there will be more content coming soon so keep an eye on the channel peace